Hi, I'm Sarah from Dolls and Daydreams, and I'm going to talk you through all the new patterns we've released since the summer sale. Hmm, does this mean we're going to have a winter sale? Yes, it does. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm already feeling super festive. Can you see them? I don't think you can see them the majority of the time, but I think I might wear these until Christmas. <laughs> anyway, let's get our wish list ready because we all want a handmade Christmas, don't we? Let's give something that our little ones are going to love and cherish forever. So I designed a doll carrier. This has been on the list for a long time. It's absolutely adorable. Keep your dolly close to you at all times. Never lose her. She sits snugly on your tummy. And uh, of course, I'm talking about your kids. <laughs> I don't mind if you want to wear your dolls too but they're absolutely comfy, cozy, and adorable. There's a special little pocket in the front that you can add an extra outfit or maybe a little friend. Next, we release the Tiny Tom and his car tote. This is a lovely little pattern, especially for little boys, to carry around their favorite little chap, and he is rather versatile. You will probably notice with the glasses, he could make a fantastic little Harry Potter. And let's not forget the Tiny Tot clothes. They'll fit all of the Tiny Tot range. We started with the sweet little shorts. They're super cute and can be added to any of them. And this darling little pinafore dress, which is ever so cute. And a fan favorite, an absolute sweetheart. As soon as I released her and her brother, they have been made so many times and shown off in the group and via email to me. And I absolutely adore her. It's Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy. Real American classics. These will be loved and cherished for years to come. You really should check out the pattern if you haven't seen it or grabbed it already. Raggedy Andy and Anne are both dress-up dolls and therefore they'll fit all of our dress-up clothes in our range. So we decided to add some more trousers. These are a fun little pair that you can make into slacks or jeans and work wonderfully with softies and dollies. Now, I did convert a couple of my sewing patterns over. They have been requested so many times. It's the Beach Babes. Now, I know my ladies down under, you guys are probably enjoying a really, really sunny summer right now. They are perfect. They're in the hoop, they're fast, they're versatile, and oh my goodness, you can even make a little hula skirt. And to follow up, I made my little sister Dolly. She is a sweetheart and uh, she's pocket sized, she's huggable, but I love the fact that she has those long little boots on. There's something quite sort of 60s or 70s to her with that look. She's super sweet. Then Halloween came around and we got the devil pattern. Now, this is a real cheeky little pattern. If you've got a little devil in your life, he is perfect for him or her. <laughs> And uh, with Valentine's Day coming up, well, I am sure that he will be very popular then too. And we then had the Tiny Top Witch and her little cauldron tote. Now, I really like her. She is fantastic at any time of the year. Doesn't have to be Halloween at all. She is such a little cutie. And if you have a little wizard or witch in your household, they'll love them regardless of the time of year. So the baby's first plush sets I designed about a year ago. I have to admit, I've been working on them for a, quite some time. I absolutely love them. And we've released the teddy set and the cat set. In each set, it's four patterns and you get a rattle, a plush toy, a super snuggly blankie, which you can clip onto a binky or a chew toy. And don't forget the appliques. They're fabulous on little bibs, little towels, anything that you're going to add to baby's room. And have you seen my baby model? Oh my goodness. I'm getting a little broody. <laughs> I designed my dragon because, well, I just love dragons. I'm a bit of a fairy tale girl. And with all the different fun movies out, I thought it was about time we had our own little mini dragon. I do have a large dragon sewing pattern that has been fantastically fun, but I thought we should have a smaller one that we could easily get in the hoop also. 
He has been a definite favorite with all the boys, make him in different colors. He is absolutely great fun. You can make him with or without teeth. He looks fantastic. But just in case you want him toothless, you can make him that way too. And then this week, I thought I'd surprise you with Lucy Leggings. She's absolutely adorable and incredibly versatile. You can have her hair down or in braids. You can have high pigtails, low pigtails, absolutely darling. And who doesn't like leggings in this weather? Okay, maybe because I'm in Arizona, I don't wrap up as warm as the rest of the country. <laughs> But I wear leggings right now. Well, actually, I'm in a sundress, but like I said, I'm in Arizona. And don't forget to add some wonderful Christmas patterns to your wish list. We have a ton of Christmas sewing patterns and in the hoop patterns. We have elves, we have Santa, we have Mrs. Claus, we have gingerbread men, we have sweet snow sisters and lovely snowmen. I hope you all have the most wonderful and merriest of handmade Christmases. My goodness, so many patterns to choose from. Do have fun making your wish lists, and uh, don't forget, I will pop a link to my other patterns that we've released this year so that you can have a catch up on those in case you missed our summer sale. Take care, happy sewing, and have fun in the one and only Dolls and Daydreams winter sale. <laughs>